I don't remember the moon being that far away. Alright, so after the, the intercooler being taken off, we're going to leave the bass bar on. It might be a good spot to grab on when we're towing it. But we are going to take off the turbo setup just so we have more room to work and it's just easier. Take some weight off of it. Let's get stripping that turbo off. So this thing that we're taking off right here is the oil feed line to the turbo and this feed line was teed into the oil pressure sensor. It's the sensor that sends a signal to your dashboard if your engine is running low oil pressure and you can just tee into there because that's where all your oil pressure is. So we just sent that oil flow right to the turbo and right back to the oil pan under it. So this line, as you can see, goes from the top of the turbo down under the manifold and it goes into the block right under here at the sensor. So that's where we got our oil from. And then this big rubber line right here is where we sent it back. All right, so I just took a whole bunch more stuff out. As you can see, there's no more drain connected. There's no more feed connected. Uh, I took all the vacuum lines off of it. I took off the coolant lines because this is also a uh, coolant cooled turbo. It has oil and coolant in two different passages. And uh, we got all that unhooked. So now, what's left is going to be to take off the plate from the engine, and then we're going to pull this whole turbo and manifold right off. Alright, let's get some nuts off there. This stuff is all built so close that you can't even get a socket on there. And now they're tight as hell. Oh wow. Our intercooler piping might just work as an extension. Oh yes, there we go. So the reason for this turbo down pipe going up here is because when we got the car we wanted originally to put it downwards and have a full exhaust running underneath it but if we would have done that the turbo would have got in the way of the power steering on the other side and me being a fancy butt I wanted to have power steering now we have all the top nuts loosened up on the studs um, the only thing I have to do now is to reach under there somehow and reach those. From what I can remember when I installed it, I was actually laying under the car, reaching up from here, tightening the manifold. But as you can see, the car is um, sitting on the ground. So, I'm going to find a way to get those off, and I'll get back to you when we rip off the manifold. Alright, so it turns out to reach the studs, we're going to have to take off the turbo first. And this kind of turbo, it's a TD-04LR, and TD-04s are used in a lot of cars, I believe they're used in Mitsubishi's. This one was in a PT Cruiser, um, and there's a few more cars that use it. 
but the LR version of it means that it is stuck into a manifold that is only one side use. So rather than being a like a conventional turbo that you drop onto a flange, this one you have to use this manifold because the manifold is also the exhaust housing for it. So there it is. This is the exhaust wheel. And uh, as you can see, this works as the exhaust housing for the turbine. Surprisingly still spins and there's not much play in it. Might still be good for another project. Turbo's out. So I'm gonna try to find a way to reach all these nuts under here for the manifold. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try to rip the rest of it off. All right, so we had to take off the power steering pump here just to get that out of the way and get the last, and get our last stud right here. And then manifold's coming off. See if she'll wiggle off of there. Oh yeah. Oh. Now we had one left under that I needed to pull off a bit to get to it. Oh, she's a heavy one. All right. So the one's turboed accent is now unturboed. Uh, yeah. If anyone needs a kit for their accent, here's one. No guarantees that it worked. So basically this was the plate. It just has some holes to try and line up the ports, which did not line up whatsoever. Like you can see this one, we only have about half of it that exposed. This one and this one, we have about the full ports. This one we have like maybe two thirds of it. So, I mean, it worked. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. So like I said, um, if you have any interesting names for this car, let me know in the comments. Eventually I'm gonna repaint the site and uh, yeah. If you like this project, leave a like, um, subscribe to see what comes next. And in the next episode, you guys can expect to see this thing get pulled out of its grave. And hopefully we're gonna start stripping some stuff out. Like I said, this is gonna turn into a rolling chassis. We're gonna strip all the interior out, all the engine bay is all gonna be gone. And we're gonna try to fit a V8 in here. So yeah, stick around to see that and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.